Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a couple of St. Patrick's Day punch art. We're going to make this little leprechaun together as well as the four leaf clover. So let's get started. I've already got everything all punched out and I'll take a second here and, and tell you all of the punches. First is the scallop circle punch. For the face, I use the one and three eighths inch circle punch. This is from the word window, that's going to be his ears. His mustache is from another scallop circle and cut in between the scallops and get two for his little whiskers there. The nose came from the circle of the, punch, of the itty bitty punch pack. His hat um, started out as a one and one quarter inch square. I had a punch so I used that. Obviously you could just cut a square. And then I used the envelope punch board to round the corners of his hat. I just had took a strip, this is probably a quarter inch strip of basic black and cut it down to one and one quarter um, the, or whatever size that your hat is and then I used another little itty bit from that strip that will go on top of his buckle on his hat. Um, this is just a little rectangle, um, just as long as it's a little bigger than your your band. I don't know that it really matters. I think mine is um, maybe one half inch by three quarters of an inch. Um, and I used the gold foil for that. Another word, window. And, oh, I don't think I said the, owl, um, the eyes were made from using the eye builder. Or the, <laughs> the eye builder. I, use, I build the eyes from the, from the owl builder punch. Okay. Got that all out of the system. Okay, so let's put together our cute little leprechaun. First thing I'm going to do is take the, the strip of word window, and for mine, um, this is pink peridot is the, is the paper, and I have sponged inked all around the edges on all of these, so, you know, I've got my sponge dauber and I inked around the edges to define it. All right, so now I've got the ears on, and I'm using Tombow Multi-Purpose Glue pretty much throughout. We'll use a little Stampin' Dimensionals here in a bit. Oops. I don't normally do a whole lot of um, St. Patrick's Day cards, but I think I might have to, because this little guy turned out really cute. <laughs> We're always proud of ourselves, aren't we, when we like something when it turns out. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, put the eyes and maybe just slightly above center. Um, let's see here. If you have those craft tweezers, um, it works out best. I normally have a little pickup stick type of thing, but it's, um, it's out of the sticky part. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to um, pop up his nose, but first I want to put his mustache on underneath. So with my paper snips, I'm going to just kind of maybe take a little bit of the ends off. A couple of snips. There we go. I am in seventh heaven this weekend because I do not have any obligations other than to just play in my stamp room. Do you guys love it when you have those type of opportunities that you can just sit down and create and have fun? That's what I like to do. It looks a little goofy right now, doesn't it? Okay, so for, the, um, for his nose to pop it up, for the Stampin' Dimensionals, this is a great time to use the edges. That's what I love about dimensionals is that you can use, um, you know, pretty much, well, you can use the whole, um, the whole strip because the edges are sticky too. Okay, so probably out of frame here a little bit. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so what I um, would like to do first is I like to put his, the headband on. On my card here, I made it pretty 3D, and on this one, I'm going to show it more flat, so then you can have a choice of which way that you would like to have it. 
Otherwise, just go ahead and if you'd like it um, fuller, like my card sample here, just put foam dot or put the dimensionals on instead of the Tombow liquid glue. Okay, so I'm gonna put the brim of the hat on. Ooh, there's a glop. This hat brim is not going anywhere with all of that glue. Hmm. <laughs> and then same thing here. I'm gonna come in with a little strip. If you wanted to, you could put the brim or the little hat band um, real close down to the bottom, but um, because I have a pretty big buckle, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room. Put that on. And then we're gonna have this little faux look here like that it's going through the gold. And the trick to that is, um, is to just put the same width of the band. All I did was just cut a little bit off of that strip and put it over top. So I do want to put this in first because I want to see where my um, my buckle is. This is probably going to be a little crooked. I'm work look, working at an angle. And put a little dollop of multi-purpose glue there. And straighten that up. Don't you love how that's a fake looking buckle? That's a good trick. Good, good trick. And then I would let that dry maybe just a tad bit and then you can put it on on the top. So cute! So that's how we make the leprechaun part of it. So let's um, move over here now and I'll show you really quickly how I made this little four leaf clover. What I like to do is, um, I, well first of all, it's made using the small heart punch and I use the half inch circle punch as a base. And then to make the stem of our four leaf clover, since I had the one and three eighths inch circle punch out already, what you want to do is you take a bite out of the edge of a paper and then you come in and you take another super thin bite out of it. I played around with it a little bit and the thinner the um, the thinner I can make the that bite to make the little stem of the four-leaf clover, the more I like it personally. Okay, so, oh, and then I use the um, a one-quarter inch, just standard hole punch to punch out another little gold element from our gold foil paper. Make the most of that. Okay, so now I'm going to take our Tombow again. And put a little down. And then this is going to give us our base to build our four leaf clover on. So I'm going to just put the hearts down, bringing the points in towards the center. I feel like my hands are all in the road here. So that's why I like to do the base so that I can have something for those little points of the heart to come together with. And if you need a little more Tombow, just add it as you go. And the fourth. So isn't that nice? It just all kind of anchors on there. And then you have um, more of a, what do I want to say, a solid embellishment to do something with. Another little dollop of adhesive in the center. And I just thought, you know, kind of bringing in the gold with our... St. Patty's Day theme. I would probably let that dry just a smidgen. Come back in the back side of it. And now we can place our stem. So whichever way that you'd like it to be. And I'm gonna flip this over real quick. And voila, we've got our little four leaf clover. So I hope you enjoy adding these type of um, punch art elements to your card and your scrapbook pages and that you too might get inspired to send out a Valentine's, or not a Valentine's, <laughs> a St. Patrick's Day card. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.